Anna remembers hearing people call this the Wall of Samiel. It's made to block sandstorms from the outside. Enough gawking. Come on, follow me. Huh? Over here. Oh, he's over that way! Let's hurry up and follow him. Wonder what he's up to. Where did she go? Ugh, how did we lose him? More Aramite mercenaries? How are they- You were too careless. You should have noticed those hopeless amateurs trailing you a long time. There's no need to thank me. I've never cared to keep track of personal. All I did was correct a mistake I happened to come across. You really get by on a scare, I'll hate them. Last time we met at Port Ormos, didn't you say you were going back to the Academia? Oh, so you've already landed yourselves on the Academia's hip. However, had I wished to turn you over to the Academia, don't you... Oh, right. Um, you do have a point. <laughs> I have no interest in running errands for that project. As a scholar, I've always belonged to the camp that promotes researcher autonomy. And these days, you're more fascinating than anything the sages can offer. Hmm, not quite. To tell you the truth, I'm still investigating the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Unfortunately, I've run into some difficulty. Everyone says the capsule originated in the desert and was eventually moved to Port Ormo. Which brings me back to you and why you're so interesting. The leader of Ainul Ahmar used the Divine Knowledge Capsule right in front of you. And upon seeing him, your expression became perplexed. And to have that kind of reaction, I think you must have realized something. Are you interested at all in sh So that's your answer. <laughs> but that does prove you do have some undisclosed information about the... <sighs> no matter. Rather than simply learning the answers from you... That's right! We have the same plan as you! But we don't... Then I'd suggest starting with Aru Village. It's the largest settlement in the desert, so it'll... It's always better to travel with someone you know... Before us lies our- Whoa, this landscape is real- Unless my memory fails me, we have barely spoken two words to each other before- Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape my judgment, just because you managed to escape my- <laughs> Judgment? Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. Though styled like an assassination, 
I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. It seemed to me more like your own... Uh, <laughs> yes. General Mahamatra Sino. You seem to have placed a lot of trust in all Haytham. If I were you, I'd never choose to... I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. I urge you, stand back and do not see... Has all Haytham done something wrong? Hyman doesn't think he's as bad. I won't waste my breath explaining things. Take it out. The divine knowledge capsule you're hiding on your person. Unless you want me to ret Hmm. <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Nothing escapes a mar Wait. The divine knowledge capsule? Didn't it fall into the Matra's hands in Port Ormos? No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit, I'm very curious. And why, as General Mahamatra of the Academia, as far as I'm aware, the other mantra have been... Have you been given a mission that's... Let's... If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority and resources to... <sighs> I should have known you'd be difficult to deal with. You two! Ahem. <clears throat> Well, look at you two, acting all tough and self-righteous over there. Wait, do you? Great! Finally, someone that we can trust! You gotta help us out here, otherwise these two are gonna start fighting again! Yeah, sure looks that way. Two giants from the Academia duking it out once and f Listen, I know you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous- But how dare you bring your petty disputes into the safe- It seems like someone's gonna have to beat some sense into your thick skulls until you finally- <sighs> Hey, did either of you hear- Whoa, what's going on? The wind so- Another sandstorm? What's up with these recently? Hey! All of you, over here, quickly! Someone's calling for us! Oh. That sounded like Candace. Ugh, come on, you two! Jeez, are all of- All right, stop- <laughs> Wanna play sardines with three people who wanna tear each other limb from limb? <laughs> uh, the air is so thick and heavy. Paimon can hardly keep floating anymore. My sincere apologies, everyone. This is the home of our village chief. I will have to ask you to make do with this small room until this place. Let me introduce myself. I am Candace, protector of Aru Village. <sighs> nice to meet you, Candace. The name's Paimon. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. It's all- Wow. She's so gentle and caring. Like a nice older sister. All right. Now that we're all better acquainted, as a guardian charged with the responsibility to protect my fellow villagers from harm, I was observing your con- And now that you have set foot within our village itself, it is all the more my responsibility to make- out So please, have an honest- And if anyone dares to start anything again while they are under this roof, I will not hesitate to send them out for some quality t Oh! Uh... <laughs> and that goes for you too, Miss Dia. Do I make my... <sighs> All right. <laughs> that I was supposed to be a mediator, but uh, I might have gotten a little too involved just now. Wait! That... <sighs> I have nothing to hide. So there's no shame in explaining myself. While All Haytham wasn't wrong about the other Matra not knowing my whereabouts, it's not because I've been a... Rather... Huh? A little while ago, I discovered that there was data missing in the Academia's project planning and development. As General Mahamatra, I had the responsibility and authority to request. I tried to investigate the issue myself before submitting a formal audit request, but I soon found that all- I began to realize that, unsurprisingly, the Grand Sage rejected my- The power of the General Mahamatra is granted by the Sage- Hmm. I realized then that to the Grand Sage, the Matra are nothing more than tool. The vows that we took, the principles that we strive to uphold, 
They are meaningless to the Academia. I believed it would be wise to flee the Academia before the Sages had a chance to take act. I will never give up on this investigation. There's no- Sino seems to have the same goal as us. We're all investigating the sick class. Now that he's no longer the General Mahamatra, he somehow- Well, Sino, if that's your story- When I was investigating the matter in the Academia, I overheard a conversation between all- The Sages asked you to investigate a blonde hair trap. <laughs> like many parts of the project, this assignment was undocumented. Now throw in your suspicious behavior with the Divine Knowledge Cap- Hmm. <laughs> yes. I was indeed- Oh, here you come! After all, the promised reward was so great that hardly any scholar could have refused. The Sage told me- once the most enticing unfortunately those academics their words contained one key piece of information namely that divine from my perspective the sages are far from trustworthy think about it isn't it a little strange they're so willing to sh so i began my own investigation following the lead of the divine knowledge capsule in the end had i been less guarded i probably would have ended up like that Einal Achmar Mer you mean that the Sages originally planned to dispose of you, using one of those ca I'd already given up on the assignment by then. I so it came as quite a surprise when I encountered my erstwhile target while invest- Criminals do love to talk about coincidence. Even though I ran into the Traveler by chance, I had no int- You were the ones who decided to follow me and strike up a conversation. That's true. I'll hate them helped us out at Caravan- I'm willing to apologize, if that's worth- I took the Divine Knowledge Capsule behind your back because I judged its existence to be a significant risk. <laughs> After all, cure- You should be well aware, Scribe I'll hate them. Answer me this. Have I not made myself clear? You and I are both distrusted by the act- Fine. Although you haven't completely proven- As you wish. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm glad to see you two clearing up your misunderstanding. And now you, Dia. I believe it's your- Oh, sorry. Whatever the boys were talking about- Ahem. <clears throat> My situation is pretty straightforward. My employer do- I had nothing going on, so I decided to return to Aru Village for a visit. I was actually- But then I saw these two random guys in the middle of a pointless argument. It is that all? Well, that's more like it. I missed you all so much, Kate. <laughs> No need to worry. Now that you're no longer at each other's throats... C creatures In the... Fighting in a sandstorm is not for the faint-hearted. Anyone with... Yeah, just leave them to Candace. <laughs> Don't worry. The wind's died down. That means the... S Candace still isn't back yet, though. When you put it that way, even I'm starting to feel a little worried. All right. Coming in waves. I've lost. Ah, here comes another. <laughs> Leave this round to us. I. <laughs> it's been quite a while. I'll be sure to put on a good show. <laughs> Let's go. Just now was probably the aftermath of this. Well fought, everyone. No injuries, I hope. Huh? Ah, 
My apologies. I haven't had a chance to greet you yet. I had my hands full. I am the chief of Aru village. Everyone usually calls- Sir, I am also originally from the desert, but I have not been back for- I can't say they've always been common. Uh, besides sandstorms, we also occasionally get earthquakes. Hmm. Another of- So, Ermansoul's withering causes withering zones in the forest. Everything in the natural world is inextricably connected to Ermansoul. <sighs> Everyone in Aru Village needs to take... Uh, speaking of which, why... Village Keeper? Does your curiosity know no bounds? Village Keeper is... Most of them are scholars who lost their sanity. The Academia believes that their crazed mutterings may have a negative effect on the psyches of other scholars. So, they're forcibly... Alas, that's exactly what we've been trying to invest, but no one in the village has ever seen them leave. If you're planning to... I've had encounters with those people in the past. The Machra are the ones responsible for their exile. Now that you're no longer with them? Mock me if you will. But if you are guilty, I... Oh, you're the former General Mahamatra. You must be an expert in the... Is it because you're reminded of Hapasia? Oh, these poor scholars. But, uh... Is it really a good idea to tag along with Sino? I'll be grateful for the assistance. <laughs> no doubt you will. Let's start by finding a spot to share what we know. I've sent myself into exile. I'm still doing essentially the same. Do you still have any questions for me before we start our investigation? One of my former subordinates told me that this title, the Academia has long exiled mad scholars to Aru village. When mad scholars first arrive, they are as incoherent and deranged as before. Initially, the people of Aru village greatly- Aru village was struck by the strongest earthquake in living memory. Suddenly, he noticed a mad scholar crouching in a corner, caressing the ground with his hands, despite the powerful tremors that ripped through the ground that night. Well, after that, the people of Aru village treated the mad scholar- The soft green light? A mad scholar protecting- Paimon thinks so too! Actually, Sino, do you- In theory, they would continue wearing them so the academia could still monitor their activities. Oh. If you are able to draw a conclusion from this one story alone... So, what do you make of the story? Really? Hmm. What? You don't believe us? Lesser Lord Kus... No, it's not so much that I... Lesser Lord Kusanali. The Academia has always placed far greater importance on the late Greater Lord Rukadev... In addition, I've never heard... No way! Nahida definitely exists! I've spent many years interrogating criminals. Good! Then you should know that we're telling the truth- That look in your eyes. How can this be to think? Our arc- Alright, now it's our turn to put our skills to good use for this investigation. But easier said than done. Especially since we don't have any leads. Excuse me, are you here- Huh? By the sounds of it, a resident of this village. My name is Isak. You'll... Is your grandpa mad? Hey, don't say that. Grandpa is just grand... <sighs> the person you're referring to is not a local. Yet you are... Grandpa is just... Gr I, I heard everything you said to the village chief. Please, you... Ah, I was planning to go out and take care of whoever it was. Whoa. Oh, Ethan wasn't kidding about Matra having sharp... Sorry. I was only listening in because I wanted to know where Grandpa went. All right. But first... Phew. Ah, you're back.
back already. We just wanted to confirm something with you. <laughs> huh? You... Yes. Although he tried his best to stay hidden, I still noticed him. Isak's parents were both Aramite mercenaries who rarely returned. Unfortunately, it was only a few years before his grandpa passed away. Later, an elderly mad scholar arrived at the village. However, the scholar was unkempt in appearance and incoherent in speech. Although, one summer night, the oft mumbling and bumbling... So Grandpa walked up to Isak and patted him on the head. He even took Isak... The next morning, Isak woke up and wanted to go find his Grandpa again. It's said that those who saw the scholar claimed he no longer appeared to be crazy. Isak was thrilled that his Grandpa was able to find peace and would follow him... All this somehow just makes Paimon feel really... Perhaps. Nearly everyone who lives in the desert has some... It's also my reason for fighting. I must con... Hmm. Maybe the people have always had a con... Huh? No, nothing. As long as Esau keeps his word and doesn't... Perhaps you are more compassionate than I gave you credit for. We've cleared everything up. Let's go for... Really? Yeah. All right. <laughs>